I think it was Christmas Eve of last year, I got it in my head that I wanted to try sourdough bread. I did not know it was a pain in the ass at that time. You see, what happens is you first have to create a starter, which you see here, kind of looks like pancake dough. That is a video all into itself because that takes seven days to develop. It's basically like doing a third grade science experiment where you cultivate yeast and bacteria and uh, then you put it in your bread and that's why it smells a certain way and tastes a certain way. Now, I tried it yesterday and it kind of flopped. Didn't raise that much, was pretty flat, but then got what they call oven spring. Popped up pretty nicely. Texture was okay. Um, so we're gonna try this one, see if it rises anymore and uh, see if we can do something a little better. All right, let's go strengthen the dough. Big sticky mess. Did you know dough temperature is one of the main ingredients for sourdough? Got to preheat the oven just a little bit to get it to around 80, 90 degrees. I didn't make that shit up. Go look it up. Yeah, I already mixed the dough. I'm not doing a step by step. There's 14,132,000 videos about sourdough and sourdough starter. Go watch those. Just take my word for it. It's a pain in the ass. This, my friends, is called bulk fermentation. Two hours in the oven. Ooh, Olive wants some. <laughs> there we go. Bang. The bulk fermentation yesterday was an abject failure. That's why I'm doing this again the next day because it drives me freaking crazy when something doesn't work like that. So we'll see if it rises today. Yesterday it was like a pancake when it came out of there. Um, I hear it's all about the waiting game. You just gotta wait if it's not ready. I cooked it, wasn't too bad. So we'll see. Hopefully this one's a little better. Allegedly, the bulk fermentation is done. Let's take a look. Looks like it rose a little bit. Got a couple bubbles, but also looks similar to yesterday. All right, let's try to roll this thing into a shape. funk in there. That's called the leaven funk. I just made that up. You guys know what this is? It's a bread lamb. Spelled lame, L-A-M-E, but it's pronounced lamb. What do you use it for? To score your bread or cut it. I'm sure the cuts I make will be lame. <laughs> That's a horrible dad joke. But I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna make some cuts and see what happens. The theory is, is that it allows the bread to expand naturally and you create cool designs. Let's give it a shot.
You guys know what this is? No, it ain't a basket. It's a bread proofing box, I think. I don't know, you gotta get with the lingo. You know what this one's for? It's for making a batard. That's bastard without an S. Haven't made one of those yet. That puts cool designs on the top, little flower rings, gives it a little shape. We'll see how it goes. Hey guys, first beer of the day is brought to you by, well, maybe the second beer, Fleetwood Mac. Huh? Let's go see if you can spot this one. Loving you isn't the right thing to do. How can I ever change things that I feel? If I could, baby, I'd give you my world. Oh. And also, I sincerely apologize for the horrible sound. I don't know how to record drums yet. And also, I don't know how to tune drums yet. I am, however, having a hell of a good time banging away on those things. You love it. As we started making the bread, we thought, how is it possible to make this delicious bread and not have any marinara sauce to sop up? So now we're making smoked meatballs and spaghetti. I know we're off the cuff smoked meatballs don't sound that great for spaghetti. I'm telling you, it is. Give it a shot. All right, let's go cook those things. <laughs> oven spring and I don't think this one sprung up in the oven it's pretty flat compared to yesterday's it looked like it was much better in terms of the air bubbles and the rising but apparently the thing died in the oven now then we're gonna let it cool for I don't know a couple hours cut it open maybe it's better inside who knows I'm sure it won't suck It'll be decent, but the ongoing experiment continues. No clue why anything happens. Mm. Yesterday's rose a little more. But overall, this one's a lot better. It smells like sourdough, tastes more like sourdough, and really is more like a rustic baguette with a little sourdough taste. That's pretty damn good. I might keep doing this. All right, we'll see you. Hello, can you hear me? Wings. Princess Leia wants her buns back. Is that good acoustics for sourdough? Better ask the professionals. I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> 